Robin Najai. I'm the Managing Director of Artemis Tree Services. We've been in business since 1998. Uh, we started out as a, a small little one-man band, uh, mainly doing domestic work, the odd commercial job. Um, since 2006, kind of grown quite significantly um, from a one-man band. Um, we're up to about 17 staff now um, and we're doing a lot more commercial work. So basically the, the commercial work, um, there's, there's a lot of felling involved in commercial work. We started, we bought a grab lorry. Um, so we then had to think about how we're going to get rid of all of this wood. Um, we generate about 2,000 cubic metres a year. Um, we bring that to the yard. Last year we chipped it. Uh, this year I thought about possibly turning it into a bit of profit. So, I mean, towards the end of last year, I was looking at um, the, the firewood market. So, really, it's about um, processing the logs, putting them into metal cages, and then putting them into our log kiln. Because um, we really want to be selling kiln dried firewood, because the market really is for, for most things in, in this world, is for, uh, I want it now. Um, and a lot of people want firewood that they can burn now. So, you know, especially in, in, uh, in London, which we're we're probably 15 miles away from the centre of London. Um, we're in a lot of good area to capture that market. So we're probably going to try and sell retail to, uh, to London. I first came across um, Fuelwood at the APF show in 2012. Um, that's when I first saw the split of 400. I thought, yeah, that's, that's probably going to be the best machine I'm going to find for processing this ununiform um, arb waste. I picked up a brochure, picked up a leaflet, looked into the prices. Had a chat with Sam and Pete um, and Tony at the time, and you know, just discussed different engine options. You know, I, I really did, really did look into it. Um, but then at the time, just decided that we didn't have the space, we didn't have the market, we didn't, you know, we didn't. I didn't know how to. You know, I'd never sold a log, so I didn't really want to make the investment. Um, the following year, I saw them at the Confort show. Um, looked again at the split of 400 then I went to see them at their open day in October um, in the end I bought a, a little electric splitter a little AMR electric splitter which has been excellent we still use it it's just over there maybe we can see that later um, and then then the and yeah with the AMR has been pretty good in, in terms of um, seeing what we can do in a day um, see how many bags we can get in a day. We're getting about six or seven bags a day out of it, uh, cubic metres that is. Um, and then I was thinking if we could do this and we can sell this and then we can get into the market, then, then it could actually work. So I needed something that's going to produce firewood a lot more quickly. Um, so then I went back and looked at a split of 400 this year and um, bought one in, I think it was in February this year. And yeah, so far so good. Everything here gets cut to size, ready to put through the machine. Um, so we basically split it, we cut it to size rather, we might have to split some of it with the AMR splitter, um, just to split the rings down to a size where it can go through the splitter 400. Um, so when we dig the machine into the pile, we can take a bucket load of wood that's ready to go through the splitter 400. And um, all we're making at the moment is firewood. Really glad we made the investment in the Splitter 400. It, it, I've been on and on about it for two or three years. It's definitely the right machine for what, what we need um, it for, um, i.e. processing our arb waste. So now um, it's just really exciting to be moving into the firewood business because I think it's going to be excellent. Um, and uh, it's something slightly different from tree work. We're a high-end um, Tree Surgery, our boricultural company, we're ARB approved um, and we're now moving into the firewood market and we want to be one of the, the, the top companies in the country when it comes to producing the best quality product that we can.